Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the UIM Pure from Scratch. In the previous episode, we completed Song of the Elves, granting us access to the elven lands of Prifthinus. These lands are filled with many amazing pieces of content that can offer us some of our best in slot items for the foreseeable future. In this episode, we will be exploring some of this amazing content with our sights set on hopefully getting the Bofa from the Corrupted Gauntlet. With all of that said, I hope that you enjoy today's video and let's get into the gameplay. Unfortunately, the first couple of clips today do not have live audio, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys an overview of what took place. In this clip here, we got our fourth KC at the Corrupted Gauntlet, as well as the Grandmaster Combat Achievement, Wolf Puncher 2. And here we have our fifth KC, which gives us the Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran. KC number seven coming in on this clip, and this will be the last of the non-live audio clips. Way I wasn't recording the one time I get absolutely spooned, bro. Guys! 16 KC, and look what is in my inventory. Holy sh, bro. There's no way. 16 KC enhanced. Let's go. That clip that you just watched was recorded about 30 seconds after I received the enhanced, so I was definitely still hyped up. However, you guys didn't get to see the actual live reaction. That being said, let's roll that footage so you guys can see how I actually reacted live on stream. Yes! 18 HP, zero food, B3B, give me the spoon feed. Oh my god! No way! No way! Oh my god, bro! There's no way! Alright, so a little update after getting spoon that enhance. Uh, I ended up going over to the singing bowl, and there's an NPC next to it that I ended up talking to. And I saw an option to ask her to make me the Bofa, and I did it, and it actually worked. So now I have a Bofa. So that goal is checked off the list. Now that all, all that we need from Corrupted Gauntlet is the pet, and maybe one more enhanced since I got spooned to this one so hard. And I'm going to be racking up KC either way because I want to get lots of money, and I want more shards to be able to corrupt this thing. So that's the, uh, that's the plan for now. Before going back to grind Corrupted Gauntlet for more shards, I thought it would be nice to take a detour and get 80 range. That way I'll be able to wear the Bofa in the lobby and look like an absolute spoon-fed giga. Now, my method for getting 80 range has been a mixture of AFKing sand crabs while I edit videos, and while I want to actively play the game, I'm just getting some early Slayer levels, and I'm currently on task with some Ice Warriors, so once we finish up a couple more tasks and get 80 range, I'm going to head back to the Gauntlet, and we are going to corrupt that Bofa. And with that level right there, ladies and gentlemen, we can now wear the Bofa, an item that we shouldn't yet have on the account, but one that looks absolutely insane, especially when you pair it with how low level we are and the fact that we're an ultimate Iron Man. Absolutely insane achievement. It's time to get back to the gauntlet and corrupt this freaking bow. I decided to quickly swing by the Ecto Functus to grab 44 prayer, as when I'm doing 5 to 1 gauntlet, I still use range every 12th attack, so I might as well increase my DPS by using Eagle Eye. Alright, this KC is a really important one to me because I just failed like three preps in a row followed by a death in Hun left. So getting this KC is really, really nice. What are we going to get? Hey! Our very first crystal armor seed, a new collection log slot, and 250 crystal shards. Another exciting one coming in here. Our very first successful tier one prep. Let's freaking go, dude. I decided to come check out Zelcano for a couple of KC since I've been at the Gauntlet, you know, for years now and I'm so dry. Not only is Zelcano a good place to get some shards, but it's also really, really good for collecting smithing experience and a few other resources, so it should be fun. That's a bit of a cool achievement, 15 million thieving XP. Uh, soon enough, we're going to be 101 thieving, which will be kind of nice. Ooh, very nice. Crystal Armor Seed number three. Unfortunately, I actually did not get a clip of uh, Armor Seed number two, but that's going to be a nice 250 shards to add to the stack. And there we go. 250 crystal shards. That's awesome. Now we're, our, we are only 513 away from 2,000. And then we can finally corrupt the Bofa after getting the uh, 77 smithing and crafting. 
1,532 shards in the inventory, only 468 away from that corruption. I figured what a great time to go ahead and commit to a crystal shard color uh, for the Bofa, and I figured my favorite is the black. So we're going to be grabbing the black Bofa when we can corrupt it. Let's go get those last shards so we can corrupt this bad boy. Yes! Yes, bro! Yes! That right there confirms that today I will be corrupting my Bofa. 250 shards from that is going to bring me up to 862 shards, which means I'll only need 138 more, bro. Let's go, baby. Boom, 1862 shards. Like I said, only 138 to go, and we are going to be done with this freaking grind, man. There's no... There's no... What? No way! No way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! I refuse to believe this is real life! Oh my god! Sub 102 enhanced! Sub 102 enhanced! Let's go! Oh my god, bro! There's no way I have a f***ing blade as well! And I have to get 2,000 more shards! Oh my god, bro! So yeah, we got absolutely sp spoon fed a second enhanced. Uh, it's still not over it really. It's been an, an absolute insane day for me. I mean, I got that crystal shard not like 30 minutes before that happened. So just truly, truly insane day. I uh, now I'm over here with Justin and I'm going to be trading in some LMS points to get the final 90 shards that I need. And uh, we're going to be corrupting this Bofa very soon. And there we go. 2,000 crystal shards have been acquired. Now it's time to go ahead and get 78 smithing and 77 crafting. And once we've completed both of those levels, we will be holding in our hands the corrupted Bofa. Something that I also neglected to make a clip out of was the fact that I just got 101 corrupt corrupted gauntlet KC. And I'm not sure if I've yet mentioned this, but one of my goals is actually to lock in 101 KC at a ton of different bosses. Now I may come back to the corrupted gauntlet for the pet. Maybe what I'll try to do is do, uh, you know, enough KC to get to 101 regular gauntlets and hope that I get spooned. And if I don't, then I'll probably end up locking in 1,001 corrupted gauntlets or maybe just like 500 or something like that. But one of my goals is definitely to lock down 101 KC in a ton of different bosses just to match the name in the combat level uh, for some extra style points. To start things off, I'm going to be crafting all of these gems into uncuts. Once I get all of these completed, I then need to go ahead and get a fire cape. Uh, once I have the fire cape, I'll have access to the Tazar Uncut Shop, uh, which I will be then using to get 77 crafting. Once I've completed that, I will be moving on to smithing, where I will be heading to the uh, Giant's Foundry to knock out 78. To make great use of these rubies, I'm going to be giving them to the curator in the Varrock Museum, as if I give him 250, he will give me the medallion in return, and I can use that for my mounted dig site necklace. I just went ahead and death banked all of my items at Hispori, and now I'm gathering all of the supplies that I'll need for the fight cave run. As it stands, I currently have the brews that I need, the restores that I need, and the prayer potions that I need. Now I just need to collect a couple of pieces of equipment, including monk robes, uh, blue dehyde chaps, and I believe I'm going to be wearing my holy boots during the uh, the caves. And on top of that, I'm also going to need to get rid of a couple of more items into my looting bag, and I'm just waiting for my minigame teleport to finish so that I can go ahead and head over to the Nightmare Zone, teleport back to my player on house, go back to Hispori, grab all the things that I need, the remaining things that I need for the fight caves, and then I will be good to send it. I now have nearly everything that I need for the fight caves, with the exception of some food. I'm going to be filling these baskets here with some strawberries, and I'm going to be getting the strawberries by stealing from these fruit stalls. A quick word from today's sponsor before we head into the fight caves. Today's sponsor is twitch.tv slash 101RS, which is our Twitch channel. We've been going live on Twitch from Monday to Friday for eight hours per day, and then on the weekends, we're mixing in a couple of hours as well. So make sure to swing by the Twitch channel. I'm probably even live right now as we speak by clicking the link in the description at twitch.tv slash 101RS and come on by the stream. And here we are. We've got everything that we need in the inventory. It's time to send it into the fight caves and grab this fire cape. All right, man, here comes the big boy himself to talk, Jad. Let's get right into this final wave and grab this fire cape. It's crazy that as kids, we used to think this is one of the hardest pieces of content in the game. And honestly, at the time, it probably was. But there it is. The fight caves have been completed on the 69 Combat Ultimate Iron Man. And now we have this nice cheese cape to show for it.
Now for the reason that we completed the fight caves in the first place, we're going to be using this fire cape on this NPC who's going to then grant us access to more old wreck. And as previously mentioned, the reason that we unlocked this place was so that we can open up this shop right here and gain access to these amazing uncut gems, which will carry us to 77 crafting. With no time to waste, it's time to put our head down and grind out some crafting. 38,000 Chaos Runes acquired. Now we're going to go ahead and get ourselves the Karamja Gloves 1. And once we've gotten the gloves, we'll go ahead and sell these runes to the uh, Tazar Shop. And there is the Karamja Easy Diary out of the way. And now all that I have to go and do is sell off these Chaos Runes. That being said, I completely botched the math on this and I actually need 84,000 runes. So we're going to quickly go back and buy some more and then we're going to sell them off to the shop. All right, that's a much better number. 84,000 Chaos Runes in the inventory. It's now time to go over to Moral Wreck and get these, uh, get these sold off. There it is. The final Chaos Rune has been sold. We have 764,000 toe cool. And now we can go ahead and start the craft and grind. After two days in a row, eight hours per day of crafting, we are about to finish up 77 crafting. And there it is, 77 crafting has been acquired. Now it's time to head over to the Giant's Foundry, get 78 smithing, and we will be able to corrupt this beautiful Bofa. A quick detour that we're going to have to take prior to making it to the Giant's Foundry is completion of the quest Sleeping Giants. And just like that, the Sleeping Giants quest is now out of the way, and it's time to move on to the smithing grind. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. I got it first attempt! Let's freaking go, dude. We've got the corrupted Bofa in the inventory. It's been complete and it looks absolutely amazing. Let's go! And now we add this beautiful black shard to it. Boom, we now have the black corrupted Bofa. After many hours of different types of gameplay, including questing, skilling, bossing, and so many other different pieces of content, we have finally managed to acquire the corrupted Bofa. This is one of the items that, like I've said many times, we set out to acquire since the beginning, and I am so beyond grateful to have it in my hands right now. On top of the Bofa, we also managed to get Spoon Fed, a second enhanced crystal during the CG grind. This episode has been jam-packed with some of the most insane content and some of the most insane gameplay that I have experienced since the beginning of my RS grind back in 2006. Thank you so much for participating in the series up to this point. Thank you for being a viewer. Thank you for engaging with the content, becoming a subscriber. And man, I'm just so beyond grateful for everything that has taken place so far, and I'm even more excited about what's to come. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you on episode 7 very soon.